Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise. It's the most high Yahweh. Acknowledgement, earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it, Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening, gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past, in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth, so we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Prophecy is being fulfilled, and you need to go to some other books in order to get a deeper understanding of what you are seeing. We are going to be going into the book of Enoch for a couple of videos here. And you're going to see what is going on, what you are witnessing right now in this society with, you know, with your pastors and priests running away, not responding. The Most High has given us our knowledge and understanding back. He has turned his face back to his people. He has raised us back to positions of prominence. Your spirits have now turned away from you. See, gone are the days of you walking around triumphantly, walking around confidently, thinking that you're better than everyone else, that you're better than the Israelites, that these scriptures are for you that you're the only ones that have the knowledge and understanding, those days are long gone. Now we're going to be going into the book of Enoch to show you exactly what you're seeing going on right now. It is The Most High knew how everything was going to end. He had our people write these things down. The other nations don't have, they, they know the, the positions that they are playing. They can't be as, as much as they've tried their best to set themselves up as every single group on the in the world, they can't be the good guys and the bad guys at the same time. You can't be the destroyed and the destroyers at the same time. They know that they've been going around. That's what they've been. That's what's been giving them their pride is the fact that they've had that sword and they've been able to go all over the world destroying our people, and then making us go to them and worship them and worship their gods. Those days are done, and they know it. So that's why now all of a sudden, their, their holidays, they want to make it sound like it's evil and you shouldn't be participating when all they wanted us to do for all this time before was to participate in their holidays because they've been stealing our frequencies. We're going to go into the Sefer right here. We're going to go into uh, the Book of Enoch, Chapter 103, I've actually, I've just got to cut a copy of the page here so you can see the whole thing if you want to pause it and read on your own. But we're going to be going to the last section here around verse 10 of 103. Okay? So just listen, because this is what has happened to us. E Book of Enoch, chapter 103, around verse 10. We hoped indeed to have been the head, but we have become the tail. We have been afflicted when we have exerted ourselves. Every time we tried to stand up for ourselves, nothing ever worked. We always got afflicted. Anytime we had tried to have our own thing, they came in and destroyed it. That was their blessing and our going through our curses, right? Uh, but we have been devoured by sinners and the wicked. Their yoke has been heavy upon us. See, you know, the sinners have put a yoke on us. They enslaved us. All of a sudden now they all want to say, oh man, we've all gone through slavery. We've all gone through the same things. And we, we all experience those things. But see, the scriptures and these other hidden books tell you otherwise. The sinners have done this, have done this to us. Okay? Those have exercised dominion over us who detest and who goad us. They hated us. They hate us. They hate us being around. We afflict their spirits. But they need us around because they need our prayers. They need our work. They need our physical work. Okay? 
and to those who hate us, have we humbled our neck. We, you, we bowed down to you. We knew that just like when uh, Moctezuma knew you were coming. That's why when you came here, our people just, A, we already know the Most High has given the dominion, has given them power. We already knew that. We bent our knees. We bowed down to you. We followed. We tried to, you know, appease you and do the things you wanted, but it was never enough. But they have shown no compassion towards us. There you go. Baruch chapter 4, talking about a shameless nation being brought over here. Who, you know, did not pity old man, young women, anyone. They destroyed all of our people. These are things that were written way before. Enoch was given all this understanding. Okay? We have been desirous of escaping from them, that we might fly away and be at rest. But we have found no place to which we could fly and be secure from them. We could not run away from you. We would run to the mountains and you would find us. We'd run under, underground and you would find us. We try to go anywhere, other islands, anywhere we could get away from you, and you would always find us because the Most High was leading you to us because we were under the curses, and you were under you you were being blessed. Okay, we have sought an asylum with princes in our distress. We went to the authorities, just like now we go to we go to the judges, we go to the police, we go to lawyers, we go to these different people, and we never received justice. We received a lot of lip service. We received a lot of promises. Oh, man, the Democrats are going to help you. The Republicans are going to help you. The independents are going to help you. But no one ever came to our defense. So, right, we have sought an asylum with princes in our distress and have cried out to those who were devouring us. Please stop mercy. But they showed us no mercy. But our cry has not been regarded nor have they been disposed to hear our voice. They never listen to anything that we say. Never listen to our pleas. Never listen to us begging for mercy. But rather to assist those who plunder and devour us. They went to the people who were devouring us. They would assist the ones who were devouring us. There's your Psalms 83. They were all ganging up on Israel. Okay, but rather to assist those who plunder and devour us, those who diminish, diminish us and hide our oppression. You guys have hidden all of your history. You've gone out of your way to hide our oppression. But those days are done. Tried to hide your, you know, your actions in the Inquisition. Tried to hide the actions of your devil church. I should say church and the harlots. All of the three-fifths of a man, the justification of making us like as animals and possessions so that you could sleep at night. All these things were prophesied in the book of Enoch. This is why your churches said, oh, no, we don't accept that book. Well, it's because it's it is showing exactly who you are. And it was already predicted because it was given to our forefathers. So again, uh, those, those who diminish us and hide our oppression, who remove not their yoke from us, but devour, okay? Innervate and slay us, who conceal our slaughter, nor remember that they have lifted up their hands against us. See, that's what you guys have done. We didn't do anything. It wasn't us. But you slaughtered our people. You took our land, you took our money, you took our families, you took our pride, you took our dignity, you took our feeling of self-worth, you disconnected us from our power, and you thought that you would never have to pay. If this is not true, if we are not the people, I'm sure we would, we would see videos left and right debunking this information, debunking these connections. But what do we hear? Crickets. Why is that? Because the Father has shut their mouths. All they can do now is just wait.
for that next shoe to drop because they know that their blessing is done. If this is not our history, then who is this talking about? Do you want to say those people in the Middle East are the people? Do they fit these prophecies? These are things that are going to happen for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, not a couple of years. These are, you know, the same kind of positions that we were going to be in here at the end, at the bottom of society. See, we have to be at the bottom because as we're bringing out this truth, you're going to still just try to disregard us, disregard what we're bringing out. Try to ignore it. You're not going to you're not going to do that to someone who you hold in high esteem. You're going to try, you're going to try to disregard it because you don't think that we're anything. You think that we're nothing. But your spirit is vexing you because your own pastors and priests are nowhere to be found. Just like the father turned his face away from us for a time, your pastors and priests have now turned their backs on you. Those demons that have lied to you are now nowhere to be seen. That's why all of a sudden now it's a it's a love fest. And let's not talk about our history. Enoch already prophesied that's what you guys were going to do. You guys were going to be trying to hide, you know, all the things you've done, right? At the end it says, uh, says and who can seal our slaughter, nor remember that they have lifted up their hands against us. You lifted up your hands against the jewels of the Most High. And every single society, country, people, nation that has done that has had to pay. This society will be no different. None at all. All praise is the most high Yahweh. Acknowledgement, earthy mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it, Shalom. 